Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. Today I'm going to show you how to dual boot Mac OS X Lion on your current hardware. So this is actually running with a developer preview that I downloaded from Apple. Now I'm not 100% sure if these steps will be exactly the same once the final version comes out in July that you'll be downloading from the Mac App Store, but I can only assume that they'll be very similar if not the same. So the first thing we need to do since we're dual booting is to set up our partition. So I'm going to open up Disk Utility. You want to select your hard drive and go to the Partition tab. Then you want to click the plus button down here. And for your new partition, you want to give it a name and a size. Now I've already gone ahead and made that partition, so we're just going to close out of Disk Utility and we're not going to make a new partition. So then what you want to do is open up your install, click Continue, Agree. Then you want to show all disks. And here's where you can choose that second partition. So if you were just going to go ahead and install this without even looking, you would have installed it all over your startup disk, your current Snow Leopard installation. So you would have been updated and all your files would be OK. And this would be fine if you were doing this with the final build. But if you want to dual boot and still have a Snow Leopard partition, you're going to want to make sure you go and select that second hard drive, or rather that second partition. And then you can click Install. It's going to ask you to enter in your password. So you can go ahead and do that. And your computer will restart automatically. Now one thing to note before it restarts is that since this is installing based off of an image, uh, a disk image that's already on your computer, the installation will be quite quick. Whereas in the past the bottleneck has been that DVD drive, now you'll be able to install everything in under 30 minutes simply because the files that are being installed and copied are already stored locally on the hard drive. So now the, the installer is closing all applications and is preparing to restart the MacBook Pro. Uh, of course, this could be any Mac that you have that you're installing, or rather dual booting line with. And now it's going to go ahead and restart and complete the installation process of Mac OS 10.7 Lion. So now the installer for Mac OS X, Lion, is actually installing Lion on the partition that we set up before, uh, which I happen to also name Lion just to make it easier to differentiate between the Macintosh HD, which, is have, which has my Snow Leopard partition, and of course this new partition for the developer preview of Mac OS X. Before I uh, rant, I think I've ranted in the past about this, it's Mac OS X, the X stands for 10, not X. I really hate when people say Mac OS X. Go ahead and talk about that in the comment section below. I know people always like to do that. But again, I also mentioned that since the uh, installer is actually stored locally on the computer, and of course this is the developer preview, but Apple has also announced that Lion will be distributed exclusively through the Mac App Store, uh, the bottleneck of the DVD drive of the past is no longer there. So again, the preparation before the restart took about eight minutes. Uh, this is telling me that the actual installation process for Lion is going to be about uh, 18 minutes. So really the uh, Apple has really streamlined the installation process. The update and also this dual boot solution that we're working on right now has really streamlined that. In the past operating system updates have taken a really long time. Right now if you went ahead and did this and you know you didn't even set up the partition you just did an update on top of your current operating system, your current Snow Leopard install, it would be 30 minutes uh, basically just 30 minutes and you'd be up and running on a brand new operating system with all your files intact. It's actually quite amazing, you know, the technology and how quickly it's advanced, allowing us to update our operating systems so quickly and efficiently. So now after a very short time, the install is successful. Mac OS X was installed on that partition that we set up and your computer must restart in order to complete the installation process and it'll restart in one second. 
So now just to be safe, I'm gonna hold down Option as it boots, just so I can choose which uh, partition to boot into. This will be the same every time you boot up from now on. You'll be able to choose um, either your standard boot or your Lion. So I'm just gonna choose Lion. Now, besides holding down Option when it turns on to select where you wanna boot to, you can also go to System Preferences and go to Startup Disk. And from there, you'll be able to actually choose the default boot operating system. So if you're really into trying out the new features in Mac OS X Lion, you can select your Lion partition. Or if you want to stick with the stability and stick with you know everything pre-set up the way you like it in Snow Leopard, you can choose your Snow Leopard partition. At this point, especially because I'm installing the developer preview, I'm probably going to set it to automatically boot into Snow Leopard just so I can get all my work done and all, all of my uh, videos edited and all that stuff more efficiently. But again, it's completely up to you which boot, uh, you know, op which boot operating system you want to select. So now here's the welcome screen. We're in the United States, or I am rather. So I'll go ahead and choose that. U.S. keyboard. Select a Wi-Fi network. And it's going to ask me for a password. So once your password's entered, you can continue. Now you can transfer information from another Mac, from a Windows PC, which is new with uh, OS X Lion, or from a Time Machine or other disk. Or don't transfer now. I'm not going to transfer now. We can enter in my Apple ID, so you can go ahead and enter that in. Then after you enter in your Apple ID and all that information and you register with you know, your name and all that, you can create your computer account. I'm not going to use a password. So it warned you about that, but that's fine, especially since this isn't my primary operating system at, the, at this point, so it's not really going to have all my privacy and all my files and stuff on there, so that's not really a big deal. So I'm going to choose from a photo library just because this isn't the right lighting to, choose, to take a proper picture. We can go with uh, a whiteboard, I guess. And now we can start using Lion. So here it is, the desktop. Just to prove to you that this is Lion, we can go to about this Mac. And as you can see, maybe I'll zoom in for you. You can see that this is Mac OS 10.7 Lion. So guys, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. This is how you can dual boot Mac OS 10 Lion on your current Mac. Again, I showed you this with the developer preview. You'll probably be able to do the exact same thing with the official release once it comes out in July from the Mac App Store. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.